So I've been doing some fractal burning, just uh, making some fun stuff for Halloween. You got your child's play, Joker and Nosferatu. I was trying to make a werewolf, but I'm not real happy with how it turned out. I think all of this shouldn't have been there. I think it'd look better with just kind of the face. So I thought I'll do an experiment. I've got this uh, Black & Decker mouth sander that I use quite a bit. I'm real happy with it. And it's got this removable end that I've never really used. So this goes on there and it'll help me to get in all these little tight places. To st I'm going to try to sand this stuff out. See how it works. Never done it before. Uh, maybe I can salvage this thing. If not, it's just a piece of pie and so th these are all just kind of experimental anyway. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so that took less than five minutes. It works really well. I got the 220 grit on the end of this thing. I didn't think it would be well enough, but no, it goes to town. It gets right through that stuff pretty quick. So any higher grit would be way too much. Um, so I'm happy with it. It took out all the burns. It made it quite a bit lower in this area, which kind of gives me like a three-dimensional effect, actually. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same here and get rid of all this stuff and make this kind of raised edge all along here. I might have to reburn this little part, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Might have discovered something new. Okay, that worked pretty well. I'm happy with that got kind of a relief raised edge effect going on now. I'm going to go ahead and set up my fractal burn set and see if I can fix this thing and I'll just do that in video. The trick is not to let it sit too long and soak too deeply into the wood. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit extra fluff I didn't want, but I can live with that. Finish this side too. Yeah, I think that'll work. Cool. Okay, so here it is. I went ahead and stained it with the uh, English chestnut, the whole thing. And then I went back over the English chestnut with the very light carbon gray, just to get the background kind of definition. And then obviously painted with the brush, the teeth, and the, the eyes. Um, just have to put a satin spray finish on it, and I think this will be done. So for a small experimental piece, I'm pretty happy with it. And all of the lines that you see are all done with fractal burning. So every bit of this is fractal burn except for the, the coloring. Another fun project.